my name is Amy Dallin. This is my comic book vlog, and today we are super excited for Agent Carter. We are so excited that we have brought some friends with us, some lovely, fine, feathered friends. Thank you, birds. I accept your blessing. As you can see, I am not recording from my usual bookshelf. I am with family for the holidays right now. I hope your holidays are wonderful, and I hope you are as excited as I am for January 6th when the new Marvel television event, Agent Carter, will begin. It's an eight-part miniseries, and of course it stars Hayley Atwell as Peggy Carter, who you might remember from the first Captain America movie. She was this flame during World War II, but now we're going to find out what she was up to after the war. We've already seen a glimpse of it because they did a short film they included on the Iron Man 3 DVD, which was really cool, especially since it addressed some of the themes of sexism of the time, which I hope will be part of the landscape of this series. The bulk of the series will of course be devoted to awesome adventures, because as we now know in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Peggy Carter goes on to become one of the co-founders of S.H.I.E.L.D. And to know more about her, you might want to check out Peggy Carter, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. This was a one-shot that Marvel put out a little while back. It is $7.99 and it runs 100 pages and it reprints a recent story with flashbacks to World War II as well as her actual first appearance storyline from 1966. Now you might be interested in that. 1966, of course, was not during World War II. And this is because Peggy Carter doesn't come from the original run of Captain America comics. They introduced her after he was unfrozen to help fill out his backstory. He had a different love interest during World War II, but that's a different story. Peggy Carter does have an interesting history in the comics because she was actually not all that well known. She didn't become part of the core cast when they introduced her in 1966, both in flashbacks and eventually in the modern day of the time. She, in fact, was the less famous Agent Carter. In the world of the comics, she went on to inspire, what was it, first her younger sister and then her niece, or possibly great niece, Sharon Carter, who comic book fans know as possibly Captain America's one true love. I know, sacrilege. As you may or may not be aware, you have already met Sharon Carter if you saw Captain America 2, The Winter Soldier, because we met a certain mysterious agent next door who eventually was revealed as Agent 13. And you might remember a phone conversation she was having with her aunt? I know, isn't that great? Sharon Carter, of course, would be inspired by her aunt slash great aunt to become herself an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, Peggy Carter's history with S.H.I.E.L.D. is interesting. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they have made her one of the co-founders, which is an absolutely brilliant decision, which I love. In the comics, she does, in fact, join S.H.I.E.L.D., although we meet her in flashbacks as a fighter for the French Resistance. And that is the other incredibly cool thing about Peggy Carter as a character. She is one of a set of amazing comic book heroines who date back to or whose stories revolve around World War II. She, of course, was written in post-haste, post-facto, post-World War as was, for example, Mademoiselle Marie over at DC Comics, but there was also a set of amazing heroines created during World War II who were being published contemporaneously with the conflict. You can find some wonderful examples of those in Divas, Dames, and Daredevils, Lost Heroines of the Golden Age by Mike Madrid, which is a treasure trove of Golden Age comic book storytelling and features such amazing heroes as Jane Martin, the nurse, pilot and occasional spy. An interesting note from the introduction to Jane Martin in that book is that some of the male readers at the time objected to all this action heroing that she was doing. The female readers who wrote in did not object. And of course, it wasn't just the comics, they were all inspired by the real life heroines of World War II. One of the most famous and amazing of which was Nancy Wake, a New Zealand-born, Australian-raised woman who became a British agent of the French Resistance. She was so successful at evading capture by the Gestapo that they nicknamed her the White Mouse, and there was eventually an enormous price on her head, but she kept going back and accomplishing feats of really almost unbelievable heroism and ultimately became the most decorated allied servicewoman of World War II. If all of this has you inspired to catch more about Agent Carter and her adventures, of course you should be tuning into the show and the day after the show airs on January 7th, a new series is coming out from Marvel, a mini series called Operation Sin, which will star a 1950s era Peggy Carter and Howard Stark. I love that they now have a friendship as they hunt after mysterious alien relics. 
So it's a great time to be a fan of strong female characters, beautiful period pieces, and rollicking action adventure. And I encourage you to check all of this stuff out. There'll be links in the description. You should also go check out Kiri Callaghan's excellent video on Agent Carter from back when they announced the series this spring. You can also pay a visit to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe to Geek and Sundry Vlogs, and then head to the comments and let me know, are you excited for Agent Carter? Have you already seen it? What do you think? How did it turn out? Tell me how it ends. Don't tell me how it ends. A very happy new year to all of you watching. Thank you for watching. And until next time, read yourself some comics.